Hey, I'm Miss Biz. This is going to be a really short Let's Play series. I'm not sure how many episodes yet, but I heard the game only last about half an hour. This is Fingerbones. I picked it up on Steam recently. Let's see what it's like. It's supposed to be a horror game, I see, and I should be able to interact with stuff. Oh, the light is really bright in here. And I'm not exactly sure where we're supposed to go. Everything gets really dark when you look in the corners. <gasps> oh, man. There's knives. <gasps> it's a note. It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I am not depressed, I am enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. What? Oh man. So I'm thinking this guy was divorced. He came here to read. Doesn't seem like a very bright place to read though. Feels a little drab, don't you think? I don't think we can do much in here. I don't understand. <laughs> it's so dark. It's not a door over there? Oh man. <gasps> Looks like there's a door over there. <gasps> That's just a window or something? I can't tell what it is. They don't even give you a flashlight or anything. And you do need to move quite slowly. I feel like I'm sneaking through here. get out? Why can't I get out of this room? Oh man. I don't know what to do. I'm trapped inside and I can't carry on. This is why I work so much better with linear stories. Does the note still say the same thing? Sure does. How do we get out of here? I get lost in like places where they give me little arrows to go. This doesn't even give you that, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. <gasps> I found a flashlight. I can see now. Now I can see into the corners. What is that? Oh my goodness, it's another note. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother, delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Something tells me that means we need to find out his daughter's name. Oh, man. And that's what I'm in. I'm in a bunker. Why am I in a bunker, though? What happened? door open now? No. Oh man. I started this generator and I don't know what to do with it. 
I think it's a generator at least. wasn't there before? Uh-oh. Oh. This is the daughter's name? We don't know what it is. Sarah? No. I'm thinking then the door would come unlocked. Oh! <gasps> this is really kind of creepy. Hot morality is too reliant on emotions, and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to, be, to prove them as immoral. What? daughter's name. We need to figure that out. And we really want to kind of get out of this room. Ah, oh, why is it so loud now? I can't shut it off. I can't see around it either. Can I move these boxes? When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. the daughter's name that's what it is so let's try Katie in here I heard a buzz does that mean I can open the door now let's see oh <gasps> Ooh, yeah we got out of there cobwebs and it's really kind of creepy <sighs> all right it's finally happened the whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams and when the ashes settle we will be wild animals again I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started. I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed, freedom from all the irrational rules and ins inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Man. <sighs> okay, we're, we're gonna leave it here because this is starting to get a little bit freaky. So I'm just gonna go take a little break. I hope you tune in next time so we can figure out what the hell happened why I'm in a bunker, where the hell is Katie, and am I even the guy that wrote the notes, or am I some person that came in after? I don't know. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Miss Biz, and this is Let's Play Finger Bones. <laughs>